Hello, and welcome to Startup Voice with Hine Femchek. Today, we're going to talk about why we should be incorporating in Delaware. I'm sure you've heard a lot about Delaware, and sometimes it doesn't make sense. Um, if you are based in California, in Washington, in Massachusetts, why is the right state of incorporation Delaware, um, a state that most of us have never really even been to? So um, I want to preface this by saying that this video is aimed at people who are starting startups, not any business. Uh, I would never claim that every business in the US should be incorporated in Delaware. There are many businesses um, for, for which it makes absolutely no sense at all to be in Delaware. But if we're going to talk about startups, there are several reasons why you may seriously consider being in Delaware. The first of which is, if you're a startup and you're going to be raising capital from investors, the last conversation you want to be having with investors is about why you're not incorporated in Delaware. There is a general expectation that a startup should be incorporated in Delaware, rightly or wrongly so. And when investors ask you where your business is incorporated, if you say Delaware, they move on to the next question, maybe find out more about your technology, more about your team, and get more involved. If they find out that you're not incorporated in Delaware, there's a likelihood that this turns into a discussion about why you're not. That's not what you want. There are plenty of reasons that investors will find why they don't want to invest in your business. Um, they're always looking for reasons to say no, not reasons to say yes. So why give them another one? Why make it more difficult? Now, why is it that investors think Delaware is so great? Well, I think the honest answer is that a lot of them at this point probably couldn't even tell you why in very specific terms. They're just used to it. Historically, Delaware has um, a good court system that understands business matters. They have a special court designated towards resolving specifically corporate matters. This is called the, the Chancery Court. And uh, a lot of companies historically have incorporated in Delaware. A lot of public companies, which is where venture capital, the venture capital industry at some point um, came out of. So we have a trend where we had companies incorporated in Delaware, public companies, large companies, Delaware law offers protections against takeovers, things that really large companies often care about. It offers a lot of flexibility for stockholders, for investors, and uh, it, it makes it, it, it's a state where it's pretty easy to manage your corporate affairs. So that's where it all started. Now it's very customary for not just public companies, but to, for startups to incorporate uh, from the get-go in Delaware. Now, if you don't, it's not the end of the world. If investors are truly interested in your business, they will overlook this, and they will either invest in you as it, I mean, in whatever state that you're incorporated, or they'll make it a condition to their investment that your business reincorporate into Delaware. So you can take that risk, or you can uh, just incorporate in Delaware, and not worry about it. Now, um, just to make it clear, it's not actually cheaper to be in Delaware. Uh, people don't incorporate in Delaware for tax reasons. Um, in fact, if you are based anywhere in the US, you're gonna have to qualify to do business in the state where you're actually gonna be doing business. So you'll be paying twice. Um, not necessarily the same amount, but you'll be paying the Delaware franchise tax and you'll be paying the tax to be in the state where you're actually doing business. So it's not a cost savings, but it definitely makes life easier talking to investors. Happy company making.